Hi Internet, my name is Jeff Asher and I'm here to do a Final Cut versus Avid quick tip. Um, it's script sync versus keywords. So uh, if you don't know what script sync is in Avid, uh, the short of it is it's a way to quickly jump around to uh, lines via the script so that you could look at alternate takes and whether you're doing your first edit or working with the director or producers and uh, I won't go into it much more than that right now but there's a link below to Avid's website uh, that they have a video about how uh, script sync came together and how to use it and unfortunately Final Cut 10 doesn't really have script sync it doesn't have script sync uh, which is a bummer because you know I kinda like script sync but it does have keywords uh, and if you've never used Final Cut 10 before keywords are a huge part of Final Cut 10 uh, again I won't go into that here in this video so if you need to learn more pause see below I'll have a link about keywords um, but today we're using keywords to help um, put dialogue in kind of little containers following the uh, numbers along with the script and um, so we're using the line script uh, from this material from edit stock and it included the line script as you can see right here and it's got little numbers next to the lines that the script supervisor added and we'll kind of use those as our guide post to uh, do our keywords. Mike Matstorf wrote a book called Final Cut 10 Workflow uh, and that's where I originally saw this and a lot of people have done various versions of this uh, since then but what it allows you to do is take a section of a clip like I've done everything in my uh, timeline so far except for this clip and you can select a range of clip for this I'm selecting the whole thing because we're doing the start of it and you could either drag into your keyword collection and you can see it adds uh, this keyword to the whole clip beginning action or if I do command K to bring up my keyword editor you'll see here I've got shortcuts for everything or I can just click on the button and it'll add the keyword but what I'm gonna do is kind of go along with the script and add um, the keywords to go along with the lines and I kinda know where these lines are already so I'm gonna quickly just kinda go through and use shortcuts and drag it in and click and um, add these keywords in here so I already did lines 1 through 4, 5 through 8, 9 through 12 and then right before he stands up here I know it's um, line 13 through 16 and you know it can be a little tedious initially setting up but uh, once you get it going um, kinda like script sync you just end up going faster through all the clips and once I now have gotten through all the clips I can click through my different keyword collections and if I start at say line 1 through 4 here oh. sorry I know it's going to start in the same place. Oh, sorry. And then, like line 17 through uh, 20 here. I just added that 10. Uh, so, Mary. So, Mary. So, Mary. So, a quick way to uh, access your clips, and just kind of as another little example. I'll show you um, the edit here and we'll play through a section. You know, I just don't see why I have to have my, my teeth pulled. They feel perfectly fine. Sure, sure, they feel fine now, but those wisdom teeth tend to want to shift around. And before you know it, you've got a mouthful of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Mary, dentistry's come a long way since the days when your parents got their teeth ripped out in the back of a barn. My parents didn't grow up in Recent that. advancements in modern dentistry rendered the process practically painless. 
<laughs> few tugs on this. All right. So why did I show you that clip? Well, say you're in with a director or producer and here for this take. In modern dentistry, rendered the process practically painless. Maybe he wants the uh, the nurse in there a little bit, or he's not happy with the way that the uh, dentist pulled on the the cloth. And I know that's around line 13 through 16 because I've been doing this a little bit. Uh, but you can also reference your script, find line line 13 with recent advancements, and then he goes into trying to uh, pull on the the cloth. So I know it's around here, and with Final Cut 10, I can see all my footage very easily. I'm not even clicking here. I'm just kind of scrolling through my footage. Uh, but I know the take that I was using was from 4 Pickup. Um, so let's see what we got here. Recent improvements to the modern dentistry have rendered the process practically painless. That came off. Uh, he doesn't want that because he does it too easily. Uh, pick up uh, three is the one I'm using already, so let's take a look at six. Recent advancements in modern dentistry have rendered the process practically painless. Oh, I kind of like that. I'm fumbling around with it a little bit more, so I can just go in here. Option R, replace that clip. I'm just kind of futz with that to get the dialogue where I want it. Recent advancements in modern dentistry have rendered the process practically painless. All right, and now, of course, this uh, next shot doesn't match up, 4B. All right, so I come down here. Uh, 4B1 is what I was using already, so I'll take a look at 2. Modern advancements in dentistry have rendered the process practically painless. That's all right. He maybe pulls it off a little too quick, and she's looking a little too sweet at him. So let's look at take <laughs> three. Recent advancements in modern dentistry have rendered the process practically painless. Snap at the phone. Oh, I kind of like that with her look and how he struggles. Let's look at four and five. Uh, render the process practically paints. Oh, we lose her completely in here, so not sure I want to do that one. Remove my previous end out. Render the process practically paints. All right, same thing with take five. So let me uh, put in take three. <laughs> Recent advancements in modern dentistry rendered the process practically painless. Love the look. Okay, so command or option R to get that in there. And a little bit more. Check it out before she opens her mouth and the other take. Practically painless. Practically painless. You know, it's something like that. I'll have to do a little bit of cleanup and whatnot. Let's make sure that's the right edit point. But you get the idea of keywords. And so, yeah, the, you know, negatives versus positives. It's not line accurate. Uh, it's can be time consuming for your assistant, just like uh, script sync, but can be a huge time saver whenever you're going to do notes. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.